Yeah, one. <laughs> Only one today. It's usually two, but uh, Donna Worthley's come in, and you've uh, you're the palm expert. Well, that's yes, that's one that's of your the, area. That's of, uh, one of my areas of yeah. expertise. Yes, correct. But you uh, you're also a master gardener, so uh -huh. you, you know it all. Well, well, in comparison well, look, to me, I suppose, you know that, it all. That may be true. Yes, my my thumb is not true. green. So if you have a question for Donna regarding any of uh, the stuff you're growing or trying to grow, or if you've got uh, maybe uh, something wrong with a plant and you can't seem to fix it, give us a call at 941-206-1580, toll-free 888-441-1580. Hi, caller, you're on the air. <laughs> Joe Taseo. Joe Taseo. Hi, caller. You're on the air. Um, when you say the, the fronds are frazzled, are we talking about the new fronds or the old fronds? Because he, it's he probably hung up and okay. listening okay. up there. Uh, <laughs> Go over both. About, we'll talk about two different issues then. Typically, when the new fronds come out frazzled, um, that is uh, a nutrition uh, deficiency. Uh, and typically, the nutrition that is you know we're missing is uh, magnesium. Uh, so. If you're not fertilizing them on a regular basis, I would suggest that that's what you first start to do using a palm special fertilizer, which will have magnesium in it. Or not, excuse me, I need to back up and say magnesium. I need to say manganese because that's what's causing that frizzling in the center fronds. Manganese. Manganese with M A N. And magnesium is, you know, Epsom salts, and I'll really confuse everybody. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but typically when you see you know, fronds frazzling, unless, now, the other reason that it could happen is if that palm is located in an area that's a lot of high wind, and it could simply be, you know, wind damage and, you know, frazzled, you know, fronds from that. But my guess is it's a, nutri a nutrition problem, and we need to start fertilizing on a regular basis with palm special fertilizer. Palm special fertilizer. Uh, palm special fertilizer has a lot less nitrogen, so if we're talking about a fertilizer that's going to be an eight- Zero or maybe an eight two twelve, uh, and then usually the last number, the last thing is four, which has to do again with uh, magnesium. Okay, and with uh, uh, fertilizing fertilization of the palm, how do, how do you do that? You don't use the spikes or anything. Exactly. Yeah, it's, you know, you're so right, Tim. You simply broadcast it. Um, you just like sprinkle it around. Keep it about one foot from the trunk. It's a granular fertilizer, so it will need to be watered in. So you need to plan your fertilization sometime either prior to your irrigation system coming on or prior to a, a rainfall. Um, and yes, now you never want to drive spikes into the ground or dig a hole because palm roots are really close to the surface. So anytime you do that, what you're doing, first of all, is you're damaging the roots, but second of all, you're putting all of that fertilizer in one little spot, which of course is not the best way for the palm to take it up, mm -hmm. so it's better to broadcast it. All right, 206-1580, toll-free, 888-441-1580. Uh, starting to get a little cooler. It was Isn't it nice? 68 this morning. It was 66 yesterday on my way to work. So, oh, yeah, turn off the air and open up the house. There you and, go. Uh -huh. But still getting up into the upper 80s during the day. Uh -huh. So, But uh -huh. it is nice to feel a little bit cooler weather. Exactly. Uh, all is here. See, for all those people who think <laughs> that there's no seasons in Florida. There is. There are. Mm -hmm. This is fall. And... Uh, <laughs> and what, uh, uh, what, what, in re regards to like uh, pruning and stuff like that, when do you, when do you want to start backing off on, on pruning your well, shrubs? This and is bushes? really about the, the last, you know, two to, the, to two to three weeks to do it. You know, you need to be all done no later than probably by that second week of November. I'd say really by November 1st, because if we're going to get any cold weather, and there's some suggestion that we might this year. It typically happens from December, mid-December through into January. So if we get all the pruning done now, let's give the plant enough time to kind of respond from that stress. Because typically what frost hurts is brand new growth. And so if you've just pruned, you don't get that new growth. So we're really almost to the point that uh, of no return. We either don't, if you don't get it done the next day or so, then you're probably going to wait till the 1st of February before you start that. And uh, what are you hearing? 
Uh, I mean, what, what's a, I, I, I should go grab the uh, far, Farmer's Almanac yeah. off my desk during the break. What uh, is it look like we're actually going to see well, some again, colder weather? Well, again, you know, it, that's, you know, it's so tough to, to know that for sure. But there is some suggestion that, you know, because we kind of got by okay last year, that, you know, this could be uh, another one of those those years. Of course, you know, that really means so much, so many different things, mm -hmm. depending upon where you live in the county. Uh, yeah, it seems like last year we got it right right around the last last week October and uh, for like first two weeks of November and then it was fine. Well, and, after and that. again, you know, where I live, I very you know it has to really get cold for mm -hmm. you to you know have any kind of real damage. Uh, but those people who live like in Deep Creek on the east side, you know, of I seventy five or even forty one or north of the river, as we always say, mm. you know, obviously have a different experience than perhaps I do living on the water. You know, we're in pretty close to shallow water, and not having to, you know, have the same kind of environmental mm -hmm. situation as they do. So, you know, it really doesn't mean necessarily anything. I mean, when it's bad, it's like it was a few years ago, when you've got extended days of, you know, freezing weather or you mm -hmm. know, that frost. And uh, what are you growing at home besides uh, palms, and well, <laughs> how are they doing? How, how are your vegetables doing right now? I, well, I was a little late getting my vegetable garden in, because uh, I was gone for, from the end of September through mid-October. So mine just went in this weekend, so I can't say that I have a whole lot of anything that's popped through the ground yet. But just a couple little seedlings. Yeah, right? hopefully everybody started you know, their fall garden, their garden, you know, a couple of weeks ago at least, end of September, first part of October. I mean, if you haven't, it's not too late. You can still get tomato plants in, you know, now. Uh, not too late to plant, you know, green beans, lettuce, radish, you know, those kind of things. So, you know, it's not, because those are, you know, crops that produce real quickly. So. Yeah, three months and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Hi, caller, you're on 